Hey everybody, it's Grace here from Dreamful Dollies, and today I'm up in the doll room um, because I'm going to be customizing a doll. Basically, the doll that I bought to customize has been sitting in a box for months. <laughs> I haven't had the chance to get around to customizing her, but today I'm finally going to do it. And the doll, oh, the doll that I'm customizing is this 26. She low-key looks like she has like an 80s, like early 90s haircut going on. <laughs> Her wig got cut by the previous owner, so. Wait, why is it kind of cute? Wait. Slay. Oh, I'm still going to customize her though. Sorry, okay, I can't get over this right now. It looks good, right? Like, I'm not crazy. No, now I want to leave it. <laughs> Gosh darn. Okay, I need, to, I need to figure this out real quick. Okay, basically, I was planning on re-wigging her with this red curly wig. So, it's the same type of wig and same length as the one that she has right now, but it's just red. This little ladybug has decided to join. Oh, hey, where are you going? Okay, I have spray bottle, cloth, hairbrush. And it seems I have misplaced the big spoon that I always use to take the wigs off of dolls. So I need to go find something else. <laughs> um, and I also need a magic eraser. Just kidding, I found the big spoon. <laughs> this is the trusty spoon that I always use. And I have this yeah, semi-dirty magic eraser. Okay, let's get started. So I always just start by spraying the water like right around the edge of the wig cap. Take the spoon and just start like right there, yeah. Oh yeah. Hey. So now we've got, oh shoot, my bad. Now we've got her like this. There we go. I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit. All right, clean her up. So I wanna put on the wig but I'm gonna do freckles, and I've never done that before myself. <laughs> but um, I've heard people just use acrylic for it. Um, so I wanna do that, but I'm gonna try on the wig first because I'm impatient and I wanna see how it looks. So cute. Oh shoot, my battery's gonna die. Okay, wait, hold on. All right, I switched to my phone. A little background information for the making of this custom. I basically was on the create your own generator on the American Girl website. And I was just like messing around, like playing with like different combinations and stuff. Cause it's just like honestly fun. <laughs> um, and I came up with this, I'll put a photo up. Um, and so basically that's, that's where she comes from. I found this 26 for I think like 50 bucks. And then this wig, I have no idea where this wig came from, guys. There was this one seller on Mercari. That's where I do a lot of my secondhand shopping um, and just most of my doll shopping in general. And there's this one seller who always has like brand new wigs 
and I don't know if this was like a create your own wig and she like removed it to sell like I don't know how she got this wig but I think it's American Girl brand so it must be a create your own okay I'm gonna try to do the freckles I'm gonna go get my paints got this so that I don't make a mess everywhere I've got these really tiny paint brushes this one is like the smallest one I have and once it gets wet it'll have like that very fine point I have this burnt umber color which is like a brown I have red burnt sienna which is like an orangey color and then yellow ochre Okay, I just looked it up and I'm getting results saying that acrylic paint actually doesn't come off the doll as easily. Apparently you have to use pure acetone to remove it. So I probably should start, I feel like I'm gonna start with watercolor. Assuming that that will come off easily. I'm gonna do like a kind of like a layout on her face where all the freckles should be in watercolor. And then like, if it's good, I'll do it over with acrylic. I'm gonna just like use a very, very watered down, like you can see here, very watered down orangey color. Oh, oh my gosh, okay. Here I ended up mixing some blue and red and orange to make brown. It's obviously very hard to see right now, but I done sort of like a under layer, I guess, and I need to start doing some darker paint. <laughs> so I ended up not using acrylics at all, and I just used watercolor the whole time. Um, that way, nothing's really permanent, and the watercolor looks perfectly fine anyway. Like I said before, I've never done this, so I'm really not a good judge as to whether or not that looks good, um, but I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I just had to take off that part um, and redo that. And then I want to add just some more like sporadically like around the rest of her face, but I think it looks pretty good. I feel like they're way smaller than I meant them to be because like Amira's are like kind of big. I feel like them looking like this makes it more like American Girl. Cause like that's how American girls are. They're just like big right across the nose. But I wanted to like kind of go for like more, like covering more of the face. So like, I don't know. Also, yeah, I put the wig on to see what it looks like with it. I tried to put some on the sides of her face, just like a, some and then like some around her neck as well to make it like a little bit realistic. Um, I really don't know if I did a good job or not. <laughs> I think it looks okay. I think it obviously could be better. And I think like the only area that like this side definitely looks like paint. <laughs> but other than that, I think it's okay. All right, I wiped it off and fixed it a little bit. And I think this is just the best it's gonna be. I'm kind of sweating from doing this right now. <laughs> All right, her hair's a little frizzy, but here she is finished for now. I think for now, this is good. I'm like, this is better than I thought I was gonna be able to do. So for now, I'm satisfied. <laughs> I wanna clean up her hair a bit and like maybe do a hairstyle and like put her in an outfit. So let's do that. Oh 
Oh my gosh. She's so cute. Oh my goodness. So cute. I bought these brown corduroy pants recently from Jessica's Doll Designs. Okay. And also I grabbed this shirt. Cute. <laughs> the vibe I'm getting so far is like she plays sports. Not actually like barely any of my dolls play sports. So maybe I need another sporty girl. So maybe she plays volleyball and also maybe basketball. I literally think talking about them like they're real people. They have to have their hobbies, you know? Okay, I definitely don't regret taking off the other wig now because this is adorable. She's so cute. Some possible name ideas that I have are Ryan spelled with an E just because she's giving Ryan spelled with an E vibes. Um, but also like Carson, I think would be, oh my God, so cute. Now that I say that again, I kind of, kind of sold on it. Now that I just said that out loud, I think Carson would be adorable. She looks like a Carson to me. That is it for this video. Thanks for following along on the creation of Ryan slash Carson slash whatever else I might name her. And yeah, have a good night um, or evening or morning or just day in general. I don't know what time it is where you're at, but yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.